<laughs> we have a we have a relatively sophisticated audience, and so I don't feel being I'm being too tacky if I say what does that remind you of? <laughs> Fourteen you days brought this up. Up. That's the most common asked question we have. Well, well we could say it's the so most common, common question that people would like to ask. That's right. but have How do you go to the bathroom? Please, please could you explain? It? Oh, you're well, holding now, it long no. <laughs> Okay. Well, first of all, uh, this is, of course, the end, end result of a device of perhaps one of the most uh, difficult engineering uh, feats that NASA had to face. Finally, uh, I think it was uh, Jim McDivitt's flight in four days when they could no longer uh, ignore this problem. Up to that time, they could ignore it. But when Jim and Ed White went up for four days, obviously they had to do something. So it was given to John Young to, uh, to do the <laughs> testing of this. They tried early ideas. They tried centrifugal force. That didn't work out too well. Uh, they tried magnetism in a, in a tube of some sort. That didn't work out. The iron filings got you know, <laughs> from the food that we had to eat. And uh, NASA went through uh, quite a bit of engineering to finally evolve into this very simple, what we call, bag. Now, you can imagine, and let's set the scene. It's uh, five days into Gemini 7, and we're on 14 days, and I'm with Frank Warren, who's uh, very regular. Uh, I have managed to hold Frank off for five days. He's run out of loan material. Finally, <laughs> finally, Frank says, Jim, the time has come. And I said, Frank, we only have nine more days to go. I think that you can last a little bit longer. He says, no. And so he gets out one of these devices, and I look very pleasantly the other direction. And there is where we find out that in the space program, position is everything in life. <laughs> because if you don't position this, this thing correctly, we're all in deep trouble. <laughs> Uh, now, I, I don't want to go into details on this, Jim, but, uh, you know, there's zero gravity in space, and so, you know, gravity does not help the things work. And so NASA has very conveniently put a little finger device in here to help things along. Now, also, we've been accused quite a bit of, uh, of spending too much money in the space program, and I want to let you know that we do not do that. This is what NASA has provided after everything is done. Uh, you know, I think in the airline industry you call them wet wipes or something like that, but I, it, you know, we are really saving money on this one. And finally, the Environmental Protection Agency will not allow us to throw anything over the side. And uh, so therefore, we have to uh, kill all the bacteria. Otherwise, you know, three days from now, we might have a serious explosion in the, the spacecraft. And so this blue material is a, is a disinfectant that will kill the bacteria. But what you have to do is to mix it thoroughly with the material inside. And you can imagine that, well, you really know if you have a good buddy or not. Uh, if you, after you're finished, you hand it to your, your flight mate and say, look, I'm busy over here. Would you need this for me? <laughs> Which Foreman did to me that one time. <laughs> I had a rumor that, uh, that oxygen masks were terribly useful on occasions like that. They were, they were, uh, admittedly, they were used on Apollo 17. Well, see, the biggest thing, the thing that Jim... Used one, you're lucky you didn't have to use it for the face. I used it to survive. <laughs> <laughs> see, Jim, you know, the most difficult part of it was detaching the we were picking I didn't mention material that, that was from the body, and, and, and particularly if, there were, if number two was free floating. <laughs> And uh, that's when uh, you run the risk of number two hitting the fan. And <laughs> <laughs> now, what NASA had done, I think incorrectly in their engineering, they put a glue on here that was a little bit too, too gluey, too tight. And if you had uh, any amount of hair at all there, you just about killed yourself trying to get rid of the thing. <laughs> But anyway, I think yeah, I think it. It. thank you. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, 